And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. You're under arrest. You're under arrest for us. He didn't do anything. You have left. the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I can't concern myself with guilt or innocence. I got to focus on winning. Bob Wayne thinks I, I did it. I mean, has anybody tried to fight you or like try to get at you or not? Mom. Mom. Huh? The baby's crying. It's your turn to get up now. And I'm sorry to say that Sonora Construction has retained the services of Welch and Associates, effective immediately. Didn't we just help them win that bid on the new library project? We did. But J.C. Gilbert isn't exactly a risk taker. Mm -hmm. But what does that have to do with him leaving this firm? Uh, J.C. Gilbert's hedging his bets. The new alderman's a conservative. Strengthening the conservative wing of the city council. Welch and Associates is close with that circle. Well, the conservatives still don't have a majority in the council. I think we can persuade him. I already tried. But if we take the Everything. approach... Everything. I still like a shot at it. Leave it alone, Terry. Okay, Groot, let's take care of the clients we have left. Okay. Sorry, okay. okay. Hey. I'm fine. Bob Wayne won't be joining us. He had to go to court. Come on back. Why do you want your photo? Find out who burned down the store. Look, I know you're looking for work, but police detectives. Terry, the cops think I did it and got off because I had expensive lawyers. They won't even look for the real guy, so I have to. Look, if you go around talking to people and someone claims intimidation, you could end up behind bars all over again. I'll make some calls. I'll rattle some cages down at the department. Thank you, but you already did your job. You and Bob proved that some sick motherfucker burnt down my store and jacked off while doing it. And you proved that the semen wasn't mine. Ma'am! Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, anyway, Bob said that a lot of fire starters get off like that. All I gotta do is find the neighborhood arsonist. Well, how will you know where to look? See, that's exactly why you shouldn't be looking. Consorting with known felons is bound to take you down a road you don't belong. Look, I gotta do this, T. Look, I promise I will stay safe. I got too much to lose not to. You can read it here, or you can take it down the hall to the conference room. I'll take it down the hall and get out of your way. Thanks. Hey, good luck with whatever you were fine about when I first got here. Quit acting like you know me, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
Man, I thought that was you. Hey, man. How you doing, man? I'm cool. I was just about to ask you what you were doing here. Then I remember Terry grumbling about you invading her workspace. I'm just trying to get ahead, man. Man, stay out of line of fire at the same time. <laughs> man, I know what you mean. What you doing? <laughs> Looking at my file, trying to figure out how to clear my name. I mean, they let me out thanks to you and your father. And before you ask me, no, I can't let it go and walk away. Look, man, thanks again, Damon. I don't know how to repay you, bro. No more thank you for it. Just keep your head up, man. No doubt. All right. Mom, where are you? I'm in here, baby. What? How was soccer practice? Fine. Oh, my God, Kelly, what happened? Riley hit me. Hit you? Why? Baby, does this hurt? No, not really. He wants to be goalie, but I'm goalie, so he hit me. Well, why didn't your coach call me? I don't know. Sit down, baby. Hold this on your eye. This is awful. Me. I got to admit you had me. Had me you believe you was all legit. Then you go pull off this hustle, burn the store, beat the cops, and then get paid out the gluteus maximus. It wasn't no hustle, Phil. I am legit. Somebody else burned down my family store. What? Yep. Burned your shit? And let you take the fall? Oh, hell no. See, now that type thing right there make you want to blast somebody. Look. I need the names of everybody who's starting fires for money around here. I right, it's three of them. One of them just got shot. It's this motherfucker, Chili Newman. Nah, but there ain't enough money in it for him. You want Willie Sykes with his crackhead ass. Yeah, I've been looking around. The name keep coming up. You know him? Yeah, one of my boys, Del Tom. Kareem, look at this number. What, the hair growing on the inside of your head, too? I said, look at it! How come this ain't matching up with what you gave me today? It does. You think just because I got 50 damn 100 of y'all to look after, that I ain't gonna keep my business straight? I'm sorry, okay? You check yourself before I do. Okay. Don't you got somewhere to be? You see Willie Sykes beat me. You tell everybody in the hood, you take somebody along with you, and don't think just because you got a little extra something to do that you ain't got to come back with my money. All right. Avery! Avery? Man, the last time I, I talked to you, you said you was going to kill him because he was, he was skimming off the top. I can't get no money for no palm box. Look, come on. I know where Willie's staying. I got a couple of runs and things to do, but I'll drive you by his house. Nah, nah man, that's, that's all right. Look, I'm not trying to front you. You don't have the juice you used to have. You go around asking questions, and you're going to get your all legit ass cap. Look, I don't need you jacking nobody up for me, Phil. Come on, man. I ain't going to fuck nobody up. Look at her, Kenny. And the boy's mother had the nerve to tell me it was no big deal. Yeah, let Daddy see. Ouch. Dad, what happened to her? Riley did it. He hit you? Uh-huh. Oh, we'll see how black his eye gets when I bust him in it. Oh, I see. You are as bad as your mother. Oh, you don't care that your little girl has a black eye? Of course I care. Oh, look, I'll talk to Dan at the next game. Just make sure that child never puts his hands on Kelly again in this life. Unless they want me to... I'll handle it, Maxine. Jesus. Man, look, look at that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
Ms. Joseph, what can I do for you? Mr. Gilbert. I'm a new partner over at Moore and Freeman. And I heard today that you're ending your relationship with us. <laughs> now, I can understand how Ray Moore might think that uh, sending out a beautiful woman could uh, influence me. But uh, I've already made up my mind. Well, Mr. Moore didn't send me. Oh. I came on my own to reassure you that if you stay with Moore and Freeman, I'll become your one-woman wrecking crew. <laughs> I'll make sure both the progressive and the conservative members of city council don't do away with any more of those programs that have benefited your company. Now, I am familiar with your promises, Ms. Joseph. You said that Maxine Chadway's campaign would not split the progressive vote, and uh, it did. So forgive me if I question your political acumen. Alderman Davis's poor showing reflects her lack of political acumen. <laughs> Sorry, but I've been around a long time. You can spin bullshit any way you like. It's still bullshit. Good day, Miss Joseph. Thank you for your time, sir. Here. Come on, all you gotta do is help us find. If I gotta shoot the knob off this door, oh, I'll still have bullets to put a cap in your ass. Hey. Where you at? You took most of the stuff that he left out of here this morning. You covering for him? I don't talk to him, I just run to him. Why well, I think you lying. Huh? <laughs> My psychic. Do I need a motherfucking 900 number? I swear. I'm not lying. You know I wouldn't lie to you, Filk, man. Man, I swear I ain't lying, man. Hey, yo, come, come on, on you got to believe yeah, me, back. man. Who are you at? Where? Where? Hey, yo, man, I thought you said you was going to be cool. I'm cool. I'm just testing out my new shit. Man, this nigga don't like this, man. Come on, man, just leave him alone. Hey, you right. I'm cool. Now I'm cool. Are you got any questions? Yeah. When do I get my money? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the lump sum won't get here till next season, but. I got an endorsement that will cover the down payment on that condo you want in Hawaii. It's not toothpaste, is it? No, I don't want to brush my teeth on camera. I hate my teeth, man. It's oxy water. Oxy water? A new designer water with oxygen in it. They want to shoot a commercial with you hanging out with a bunch of kids. Kids? How many kids? A few kids. No, I, I raised four brothers and two sisters back home. I am sick of kids, all right? Well, your wife's having a kid soon. Yeah. So, get over it. <laughs> Plus, uh, this requires no changing diapers, having <sighs> homework. Uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. fine I'll, I'll do my part and you do yours, all right? All right. All right. What's up, man? Hey, Damon, what's up? Listen, um, I got a favor to ask. Uh, you got a minute? Um, I'm not sure I'm supposed to talk to you since the family's broken up with you and everything. What? <clears throat> hey, Damon, now listen here. Kenny, Kenny, um, look, I got a great opportunity for Ahmad and Kelly to make some money. Oh. Oh, no kidding. The kids can make some money? Yeah. 
What's this about money and the kids? And talk fast. You know, we have our orders. Okay, okay. One of my clients, Kevin Tucker, is shooting a TV commercial for Oxy Water. Uh-huh. Kelly and Amada Cash, they can make a nice piece of change for their college funds. So, I was hoping, you know, to come to a soccer game. Let Kevin hang out and, uh... Really? Be with the kids. That sounds great, Damon. Now, if you want, I can talk to some of the other parents, the league manager, put in a good word for you. Oh, my... That would be perfect. That would, that would be amazing. Doing what I got you, think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, smooth, got your groove when I spot you. Doing what I got you, think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, smooth, got your groove when I spot you. I heard you thought you was alone in this rap game. Had it sold in lock, Nino Brown controlling blocks. It ain't all about dirty thugs and drugs. And if you thought it was, then your brain was bugged. Like, uh, don't get too close to this poetic ghost. This shot therapy barely seen. I go stroke this, lose your focus. Booze is hopeless. Step in the ring, bring your dream. But I go box with psychosis. I'm riding up the shine in the darkest places. Whether cave or crack or crevice, I lace it. Rhythm pavement. Stick to it like NASCAR sticks. Half the players in the game type. Well, half your bitch without God. Like I souls get lost in the shuffle. Hustle and bustle. Get that ass back like a duffel. Got the muscles. Guaranteed very leads. Various teams get their necks and backbone squeeze. Doing what I got you. Think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze smooth. Got your groove when I spot you. Well, your daddy should be home any minute. But what we're going to do is go ahead and eat because the minute we do, he's going to come walking through that door. You know what I mean? <laughs> See what I tell you. Well, what's so funny? Nothing. Nate. Mm. Mm. Let me go get you a plate. No, 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 no. Sit down. I'll fix my own. Mm. Hey, man. <laughs> See, that's why mommy's so smart because she knows. Tell you. So where were you? How come you put your cell off? Me and Filky were out on the streets, and it wasn't a good time to talk. I needed to stay focused. You were with Filky? Mm -hmm. Lem, you just got out of jail. Filky is the last person you need to be seen with. And there's a guy out there who fits the profile of the arsonist, and I need to find him. Yeah, well, you need to call the police and tell them about it. Let them do their job. You got more important things you need to be worried about. Like what? Like finding a job. And like picking up your son on time so that I don't have to leave the shop early to do it. Here, baby, eat your tomatoes. What do you want? I want to come in. Dine on some roast beef, nice veggies. You got a lead you came to tell me about? Oh, believe me, I got leads. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Van Adams. Is this about the store? It sure is. Why are you looking at my husband like that? You have no right to be here. He's the one that shouldn't be here. Should be behind bars. Good night, detective. But you got lucky. And if you think by making it look like you're trying to find the real arsonist will fool me, it won't. Enjoy your dinner. Maybe next time I can join you for dessert. Now you see why I gotta find out who did this shit? <sighs> okay, guys, now everybody gets to try out. Yeah, there's about a hundred red rats out here, man. <laughs> You're not gonna use all of them. You just need to pick. Why don't you kick the ball around? See who you're comfortable with. Come on. Defense. I don't know anything about soccer. They're just kids. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Let's go. That guy. Tell you. No fair. You okay? Uh. You okay? Huh? It's up, huh? Oh, he's just. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kevin. Hey. <laughs> Like that. Kevin, it's good, huh? Hey, got it. You okay? Okay, come on. Hey. Yeah. Kevin. Come on. Get lost. Yeah. Huh? Why don't you lighten up a little bit? See those little bastards that were kicking me? Not on purpose. They were going for the ball. Well, you tell my ankles that, right? Come on. What's up? Huh? Jerk! That's right. We're done. Come on. Hey, good job. Thanks. Uh, let's do it again. Come on. 
we like. Hey, if I get picked, I'm gonna buy me a mountain bike. <laughs> I wanna be on TV. All right, well, let's just ask Damon about that. Ah, and there he is, over there. Come on. All right, watch out. Ryan's dad. Uh -huh. Little punk. Hey, let it go. We're bigger than that. Hey, Dad. Right, come on, Kelly. Let's go practice. Kenny, good to see you. Yeah, hey, you too, man. Hey, Riley. Hey, Mr. Turtle. All right. You ready for the big game? Good, good, good. Here, your wife got a little heated over the incident with the kids. Sorry about that. Oh, no worries. I'm just a little shiner. I'm sure it was an accident, right? Yeah, with sports, sometimes these things happen. And you know how moms are. They're probably better off at home baking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> you come early for the tryouts, too? Yeah, my, my kids are cute. I think they should be paid for it. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. I think they're ready for us. Hey, kids. Hi. All right, well, get out there. Give daddy kisses. Mm. Wait a minute. Riley got here the same time your kids did. Why do yours go first? Oh, they know Damon. Oh, yeah. I see. So no matter what, my kids don't get picked? My kid gives your kid an innocent little shove, and you're getting us back. You know what? That's ridiculous. And by the way, you don't get a black eye from just an innocent shove, all right? At least be man enough to admit what you're doing, Chadway. No. You know what? Look, I... Oh! God, God be damn! Are you crazy? Why did you hit me? I thought you were gonna hit me first. I saw you throw up your hand. Oh, God, I was trying to scratch my head, you idiot. Oh. Oh. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm an idiot. Hey, 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 there's some final paperwork for me to sign, and then all the business between Sonora and Morin Freeman is concluded, right? If you want to walk away from over $2 million in contract eligibility, yes. I don't have time to play games, Miss Joseph. I'm up against the deadline on the one contract I've been able to secure in the past six months. I took the liberty of reviewing your company's eligibility for programs that haven't been dismantled yet. Programs from which you can still benefit. And what are those? Set aside, earmarked for minority contractors. We're not a minority company. You recently named a woman as a partner in your business, didn't you? It's the only way we could stay afloat. She merged her smaller company into ours. By law, women are considered minorities in Chicago's assistant programs. Well? You're eligible for two million in available contracts. <clears throat> Shall we schedule a more convenient time to discuss this further? Yeah, uh, why don't I drop by your office sometime tomorrow? <laughs> you just name the time, Mr. Gilbert. Just name the time. I don't believe you. Uh, well, baby, he started it. Will you listen to yourself? <laughs> I got it. Uh, Hello? Hi, Coach. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, hold on. Hang on. Come on. Kelly. Hey, Hello. Oh, yeah, I, I know about the rule, but the circumstances were... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, well, you know, can I tell you what? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, I'll, 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 all right, then. All right, bye. Well? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I, I, I've been banned from the kids' soccer games. I don't want you to watch me play. Oh, but I can watch you play next season, baby girl. I want you to watch me play this season. Come here. Daddy, I want you to come. Mm, my girl. Lem and I could take the last few games of the month, and then my schedule should open up a bit. Oh, and I can be a soccer mom then. Oh, boy. I <laughs> can't believe Kenny is going to miss seeing his children play. So they really banned him from the game? <laughs> yes. See, is that legal? Well, according to the league bylaws that they agreed to. But this plan will work fine. 
Well, thank you guys for filling in. Damon did offer, but I know how you feel about that. And we talked about that as much as we need to, so I think I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this expensive French wine. Wee mm. wee. Oui, oui. Well, going to the games is going to be good for Lem, because anything to take his mind off this arson case. Mm, yeah. Still obsessing about that? Day and night. Well, why doesn't he just thank the Lord that he's free? Because Detective Connor came by the other day to say he still thought Lem did it. What? What? Can he do that? Well, keep investigating, yes, but harass you, no. Well, I'm just praying Lem doesn't get in trouble trying to do something. Well, I will keep you both in my prayers, Bird. Thanks. What's going on at your job, T? They still giving you a hard time because of me? I'm getting a hard time because that's the way it is when you started a new firm. It's hard in the beginning. But then once you find your place... It's still everybody... hard. You work all the time. Well... You're always stressed out. You never get what you deserve. And then you wind up having to leave. You guys are really cheering me up here. Sorry. <laughs> Let me get some more wine. You want some more? Please. Okay. Thank you. So now we have a Come on, Terry. What's the big secret? Who says I have a secret? That grin on your face is certainly saying something. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I got pulled over doing 80 on the 290 freeway. So right now, I need some good news or a stiff drink. And it's too early for 100 proof. <laughs> uh, well, maybe the fact that Sonora Construction is still a client will put a smile on your face. Oh. Oh. So this is why you've been tracking me down like a bloodhound all weekend. <laughs> That's scarcely how I describe phone calls and emails from one partner to another. So, how'd you manage this feat? Well, two months ago, a woman was made one of the principals. Now Sonora is eligible to apply for minority set-asides, which they had no idea fell into their parameters. If I'm hearing you correctly, your help in Sonora cut into the limited resources set aside for minority developers in this city. No, I am helping a minority group, women, secure set-asides. Sonora has just partnered with a female developer. Come on, Terry, you get my point. No, Ray, I don't. What is your point? That you've undermined the intent of high-minded legislation and attached the name of this firm to it. Well, I guess there's a simple solution to the problem. Give up Sonora Construction as a client. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm disappointed, not stupid. Excuse me, I have to get to court. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my office. So, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You all right? I'm fine. Sure. Yeah, actually, no. Can I talk to you for a minute? Um, I can just go in your office. No, no, don't do that. Um, can we talk later? I really have to do some meeting. And, um... Oh, okay. It's fine. Please. Catch up with you later. All right. Um... Um, yeah, this, this way. Now, I got three people telling me that Willie Sykes is your boyfriend, so don't tell me you never heard of him. <laughs> funny. Something funny. <laughs> this funny? What? She is fucked up, Phil. High as hell. I'm not too fucked up to blow you for a dime bag. Do me a favor, Black. What's that? Next time, lead a gat in the car. <laughs> All right. My dog, Kareem, got something for me. <laughs> what do you mean they pulled out? That's beautiful. Bad timing. <laughs> Market research discovered the best time to introduce a new beverage is summer. When did they just find that out? Well, and they shot some test footage in Atlanta, too. <sighs> oh, what, with some other superstar athlete? Kevin. Look, don't worry about it. You're popular. You, you're the man. Look, you're photogenic. There'll be other commercials. Yeah, but I thought we had a contract with these guys. Well, we, we hadn't signed anything yet. Are you telling me that you had me out there wasting my time with a bunch of whiny little kids? The kids weren't so bad. No, no, no. I hated it, Damon. And you made me do it. And now I'm not even going to get any money.
How the hell am I going to buy my condo in Hawaii, huh, Damon? We'll work out something else. I guess I'd better tell Samantha that our dream vacation spot's on hold. Hey, Sam. Yeah, Damon let an endorsement get away from us. Looks like that condo in Hawaii is on hold. Can you believe it? Doing what I got you, thinking the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, smooth, dot your groove when I spot you. Doing what I got you, thinking you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, smooth, dot your groove when I spot you. So, where is it? Hey, see that guy over there at the yellow shore? He just hit Avia for a bag. So, why the hell you ain't just call me? I didn't know that was him. Cost me more money locked up than if I bail this punk ass out. Do what you gotta do. Yo, I'm gonna leave my dogs here to watch out for you. Nah, that's all right. I gotta go home anyway. Hey, hold your head. We find them once, we're gonna find them again, all right? All right? Yeah. Took y'all long enough. Look here. I want y'all to put word on the street. 5,000 cash for product to anybody bring me Willie Sykes. Alive. <laughs> that's how you want it. I'm out. What you want us to do? Go home. <laughs> Not you. We need to talk. Ah! What's wrong with you? Nothing. Ah! Roll up your sleeve. Fuck you. Been shooting up? Let go! I said, let me see. Damn. Six infected. Is this a burn? None of your business. How did you get this? I don't remember. Did Filky do this? Come with me. I ain't going nowhere. Boy, act like you got some sense. Damn! You about to cause murder to quick release for you to be wanting peace. I got to burn, so I burn it to the dirty street. Why don't you just leave me alone and go home to that tired little family of yours? Why don't you get it through your hard head that I ain't going anywhere? I'm concerned about your little ass, okay? I don't know why you all concerned now. I didn't want to leave you, Avery. But you did. Man, I had no choice. You owed Filky for stealing from him. And if I'd have tried to take you, he'd have killed us both. I mean, that's the way it works. Whatever, man. I never asked you for nothing. And that's what I got for trusting you. Nothing. What's up? Y'all find Willie? Talk to you in private. I'll be in the bedroom. I appreciate you helping me out find Willie. But I mean, I know you rough on the kids, but you done straight up lost your mind. What you talking about? I saw Avery's arm. What you into torture now? I don't know what the hell you talking about. Avery! What's on your arm? The other arm. Hey up! Damn! Swell done like a motherfucker. Who tried to barbecue your little ass? What, you didn't do this? Hell no. Where you going? Who burnt you like that? I don't remember. Let me help you. Ah! Huh? That hurt. You still don't remember? No! Huh? Please. Still? If I gotta find out on the streets, I'm taking it out on your ass. Who the fuck did this? I did. What? Burning down his lame-ass store. I hired Willie Sykes, but I wanted to be there to watch. 
And you know what? It was good. You little fuck! I almost did 20 years for that! My, my family owned that store since forever! You know that? You fucked me, I fucked you back. Here, take that little motherfucker out. <laughs> I don't need this. But I do need him. He's got to tell the cops his story so they can leave me alone. Then what? They lock him up and take away my livelihood? Mm-mm. Then I'll owe you. I'm legit. I can go to places and, and hook things up. You can't do as easy. Like I already got people for that. <laughs> Look, you know you ain't got nobody like we used to be. You know that. So what you promising me? You gonna have my back again? No doubt. Back up for life. As long as I can own that piece of shit. For life. My word is bond. <laughs> yeah. Baby, get dressed. We're going out. We got celebrating to do. Ooh, wait. Knew your little ass was good for something. Like burning stores, huh? Me. Yo. What you bring me back here for? Thought you were turning me in. Just shut up. 20 large. What? I'll give you 20 G's you let me go. I'll be gone. Never come back. I don't want your money. Everybody wants money. See, that's your problem. You think you know everything. You don't know shit. How could you just stand there and watch somebody burn my store? It was fun. Until so Willie got all freaky and started jacking off. I backed up quick, right into some flames. And that's exactly what you're going to tell the cops. No, I'm not. Then Willie will give you up when he gets caught. Because the first one that talks gets a better deal. Or didn't you know that? I can't go to jail, man. I gotta take care of my grandmother. Tell me where your stash is and I'll make sure she gets it. You must think I'm stupid. No, I know you stupid. Just maybe not too stupid to know when somebody's telling you the truth. Okay, I'm sorry. I was mad and I, I didn't mean it when I said it was fun. I know you're trying. Avery, you're going. That's it, now sit here and shut up. Yeah, you, you're excused, son. Huh? And what do you want? I just got home from work. Looked all around the neighborhood for my kid. He here? No, no. I, I told Kelly she couldn't play with his little badass anymore. So, so no. Great. This isn't the kind of environment a healthy kid should be playing in. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know what? Get, get your little simple ass out of my house, man. Bradley. Who's at the door, babe? Uh, nobody. Oh, hey, Dan. You come to pick up Bradley? He's here? Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you knew. No, well, I didn't know. That's because you just got home. He and Kelly have been out back practicing soccer moves. What? Mm-hmm. You know how kids are. They forget about that stuff. Most kids, anyway. <clears throat> I'll go get them. Hey, Dad. Kelly's been showing me how to put some spin on my kick. No kidding. Hi, Daddy. You're home. Hey, baby. Mm. 
<laughs> you having fun? Yep. You guys hungry? Yeah. yeah. Meet me in the kitchen. There's cold beer in the fridge. <clears throat> Got any pretzels? Oh, we, we got barbecue chips. Love barbecue chips. Come on, you two. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, you can. No, you can. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you know what? Go yeah, ahead. I'll, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. seen you around here in a while. What is wrong? It's the detective. Every story checked out. We picked up Willie. He gave up the kid as hired, and we're just waiting on the DNA results. And I have no doubt it'll come up a match. Good. Here he is. Be careful with his left arm. He has a burn on it. Reserve the right to come by for dessert. Avery hired somebody to burn down the store? Yep. He's only 11 years old. And I put him away. He's where he belongs. Maybe he committed a serious crime. Besides, you, you probably saved his life, too. Mm-hmm. Come here. It's okay. desk. Um, you have a minute? I really don't. 30 seconds. What do you want, Damon? I was just checking on you. You weren't in such good shape the other day, and I was in the middle of something. Mm. Well, look, like yours, my time is precious, so thank you for checking on me. I'm fine. I couldn't talk then, Terry. I was with a client. And I had a problem that I dealt with without you. So I guess I really didn't need you at all. Okay. You know, I was trying to apologize for not being there for you yesterday. You... Never mind. Fuck it. Fine. Go, the things we could see. Sergeant Allen, I'm Lieutenant Jennings. Of course, uh, 
I can take you to see him if you want. I'll just wait till he get out. Mrs. Butler, I don't think you understand. Avery's gonna be in jail a long time. No, he won't. He's just a boy. The judge will see that. Arson's a pretty serious crime. Then he didn't do it. He admitted to it. To me and to the police. He just lies sometimes. Mr. Nevin's already left. He asked me to give you this. Money for my medicine. There's more, but I don't think I should give it to you all at once. I told you he was a good boy. I guess you expect me to thank you, but I won't. This money came from my grandson, who'd be here if you hadn't had him locked up. He'd be here if he hadn't burned down a store. And I told you I don't believe that he did. Now, you can just get out of my house. Who pays for this place? Where do you think he gets the money from that he's giving you? Selling school candy? I said, get out. Look, you had to know he was doing something illegal. You had no right to have him locked up. No right. I'm sick. I just get a little bit from Social Security. What am I going to do? Avery could have died in those streets the way he was going. You get your money and all you care about is yourself. I'm going to call the police. They'll get you out of here. You don't have to do that. I'll go. I'll check in on you from time to time. <laughs> you better not. I'll bring money. Still don't want me to come? See you next week. places like this. You didn't know that about me, did you? When you're trapped in a place like that, you do anything to get out, Marsh. Anything. I know. Doing what I got you, think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, move out your groove when I spot you. Doing what I got you, think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, move out your groove when I spot you. I heard you thought you was alone in this rap game. Had it sold and locked, need no rock control and blocks. It ain't all about dirty thugs and drugs. And if you thought it was, then your brain was bugged. Uh, don't get too close to this poetic roast. This shock therapy barely seen. I go stroke this, lose your focus. Booze is hopeless. Step in the room. Bring, bring your dream, but not go box with psychosis. Uh -huh. I'm riding up the shine in the darkest places. Whether cave or crack or crevice, I lace it. Rhythm pavement, stick to it like NASCAR sticks. Half the players in the game type, but half your bit. Without guidelines, weak souls get lost in the shuffle. Hustle and bustle, get that ass back like a duffel. Got the muscle, guarantee very ease. Various teams get their necks and backbone squeeze. Doing what I got you, think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, move, got your groove when I spot you.